Yes, ladies and gentlemen, video tab. So, um, just to start off, this is video one of two tonight. Um, actually, one of one for this channel and one of one for my band's channel. Um, now, this video, actually, you know what? Let's just do this the, the better way as far as I'm concerned. Ugh. This is for these fucking guys right here. Now, I'm going to do a, a quick little intro, and then what I'll do is I'll kind of get into, you know, some of the players of these guys, and, and then kind of, well, it's, it's mostly a history, but as far as I'm concerned, this is more of my love for these guys. Um, now... Where I got a lot of the information from, because I even tried, I tried to go to the website, uh, www.deanguitars.com, to get, you know, as much of the history information as I could. I didn't really, the section was like this small, and I'm like, no, I know it's much bigger. So part of this um, came from Wikipedia and some of what I already know. D Guitars was started in 1976-77 by founder Dean Zelinsky. But Dean Guitars didn't even remotely come into prom prominence until Elliot Rubinson purchased Dean, the Dean name in 1997 uh, with his company Enterprise, or sorry, Enterprise, oh my lord, em Armadillo Enterprises. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so as I say, that, that, took, that transaction did take place 20 years after it was founded by Dean Zelinsky, and then, of course being in 1997 is when it was taken fully over by Elliot and Armadillo. Now, Elliot Rubinson, and I had no idea about this. Now, I've seen, I've read I've read articles and I've seen videos about Elliot a long time ago when I first kind of was brought onto the Dean landscape, and I'll get into that further. Um, he was a touring musician for Michael the Michael Shanker Group, Yuli John Roth, and Michael Angelo Badio, which that's quite the resume as far as I'm concerned. And whether he was just a bassist or not, it didn't really matter. He owned his own company, took over another company, which was, you know, it was known for, you know, a couple of musicians. Um, but then he blew it up and made it what it's become today, essentially. And I'll get into further into that as well later on. Now... A lot, so the models that these guys have been building for years uh, is the Z, which is the Explorer shape, the you know the V for the flying V, uh, the Z, the ML, which is kind of like a half flying V, half Explorer kind of shape going on, which was made massively famous by one Dimebag Daryl, and of course the Demonator, which is a, which is a, line of, a series of bass. Now, of course, also they did the Hillsboro, uh, Hillsboro, the EVO, the Razorback, and a couple other models as well. Now, Dean amassed a monster roster of endorsees. As I mentioned, Michael, Yuli John, Yuli John Roth, uh, Michael Shanker, uh, obviously the first Michael was Badio, um, Michael Amott. A lot of Michaels with this. <laughs> uh, Leslie West, Dave Mustaine of Megadeth, Leslie West of Mountain, of course. Michael Amott, basically the creator and founder of Swedish death metal. Um, and, of course, uh, Christian Martucci, which is a... There's a really crazy story about Christian. Um, if you want to know the story about that, go to YouTube and type in Stay Metal Ray Dean Guitars, uh, and then of course you'll see Stay Metal Ray, who's a also he's not an endorser, but he's he's getting uh, he's picking up a few Deans in his day uh, over the last few months. And if you want to check out that story, check out uh, some of his other videos as well. This is that all stemmed from the Gibson uh, lawsuit crap, which is absolutely ridiculous. But that's here or there. Christian Martucci, as I say, Mike or Marcel Schmier of Destruction, one of the main reasons next to uh, Dimebag uh, of why I was really hooked on Dean uh, and Carrie fucking King, who just signed on last October on Halloween to be exact. Um, 
And of course, when you watch the video with State with uh, with Ray and Evan, you'll also find out the reason why Carrie went to Dean Guitars. And I mean, at first I thought it was kind of silly. I'm like, well, Slayer's kind of done. I'm like, yeah, but I don't think Carrie is. Fast forward from the whole 1997 takeover and so on and so forth. Evan Rubinson, the son of Elliot, took over as president and CEO of Armadillo Enterprises, which consists of D-Drum, Luna Guitars, and Dean Guitars. Now you're probably wondering, dude, if you use Schechter, why do you care so much about Dean? Well, as I mentioned before, it's simple. I've been a fan of the brand, a fan of the brand since seeing Dimebag and Schmier. Um, I mean, Dime, he, Jesus, he was using one when he was 15, 16, when he was entering guitar contests and just annihilating people off, off, you know, in these contests. So you actually get to the point where they're like, yeah, no, you can't enter anymore. We're going to make you a judge. Okay, fair enough. Um, but for me, when I first started getting into Dean Guitars, it was always a pipe dream because they might have had one or two models of anything, acoustic, bass, or even electric. Because at that point, I was like, oh, I'll just go get a, an ML or maybe I'll get a Cadillac because I, li I like the Les Paul shape, but I like the Cadillac because it's got that kind of goofy horn, like almost like the Explorer, like... Because you get the main, you know, you get the main chunky body, but then you get that little horn up by where the neck is, like to where the where the neck uh, joint is, or well, you know, just down from there. And I was like, I like that, but I couldn't get it. Or if I was gonna get it, it was gonna cost me like two grand or whatever it was at the time. Now, mind you, this was a while ago. So that having been said, I get it. Because I am left-handed. We are a very small portion of the market of guitar players, bass players, youth players, whatever. It doesn't necessarily matter. But at the same time, you know, and it, of course it is hard to get a left-handed one. I mean, I can call, you know, I can always go and call the boys and say, you know, hey, uh, what's the chance that you guys want to build me, you know, such and such a model? Uh, of a lefty bass or a lefty guitar, obviously it's going to be a bass because that's all I do play is bass. I mean, there's you know there's that fun little guitar right behind me, but it's a Fender, but that's here and there. That's my dad's guitar that is was a 1972. The thing is, is that I could you know I could call them and say hey make you know make me this here's here's my specs this is what I want here's my deposit boom and there we go and it's going to take X amount of time to build and it's going to get shipped to my house. But the main reason, like one of the other reasons why, is because when I started following Evan uh, on Twitter and having a conversation about just like, hey, how, like, you know, the, the, the one cool thing about this guy is that he talks to people. He fucking talks to people. And he loves good people as a whole. So why not support Evan and his amazing crew of people? Like, why Why not? Like, I mean, I get it. If I play, just because I play Schecter's doesn't mean I'm tied down to Schecter. I can play any bass I want. I can play any guitar I want. I can play, you know, and it's not because I'm a huge guy on YouTube. I've got 15 fucking subscribers, 15, 17 subscribers for fuck's sakes. I'm restarting this channel, as, as everybody knows who's watched these videos. But the fact of the matter is, is that if this guy's willing to take time out of his busy day, because he doesn't have to do shit. But because, as he said before in many interviews, I get up and I want to work with good people. Well, fuck, so do I. And I think, for the most part, this is why I've been so attracted to this company, even though I don't own anything by them except this, you know, except a lanyard. You know what I mean? Like, that's the thing. I All I own is a friggin' lanyard. And I have a t-shirt that's down in the States. I just have to wait till this COVID stuff gets over and then... Either I'm going to go down to the States or my stepsister's going to go down to the States and pick it up for me. Paid for. It's whatever. I mean, if you're going to be one of those guys that will talk to people, perfect. Because if I have a question and you don't answer me, I'm likely not going to want to use you again. And it's just that simple. That's how I work. If I can't get a conversation out of somebody, why do I want to talk to anybody? But with Evan, I've had new conversations with him. Not many. 
here and there because he's busy. I get it. With such professionalism, class, why the fuck would you not want to support such a brand, as I stated? And if that doesn't work, the killer roster will do it. So do yourself a favor. Get your fucking wings. Much love to Evan, your team at Armadillo, especially Dean Guitars. You will always have my love and support, no matter what. And I hope to at some point get my wings.